I'm Mariana, and welcome to my Poetry Corner. Have you ever driven or walked by an old building, like a really old building? And you see like the old windows, or you can peek in the inside and you can see like, I don't know, like old furniture, old lights, chandeliers, and wonder what it was that you to live there? Do you ever wonder, like, perhaps, what happened there? Was there performances? Did people live there? Do you like to imagine what goes on when the building's empty? It's kind of like maybe an old scary tale, like the inside of the building comes alive. I've always wondered that sometimes when I see old buildings. And I like to look at old houses and think of the memories and what might have happened in that house. So I kind of mixed that idea with one of my favorite things that I'm learning how to do now, which is um, playing the piano. Um, I've been writing music and um, so I kind of mixed the idea of a piano and like performance because I love to see theater and music and then with a mixture of the old buildings. So I came up with this poem a few years ago and I titled it Piano Magic. So stay tuned and I will do a poetry reading on the piano magic. The piano magic. Hidden in the back streets within the fog of downtown New York sat the remains of an old abandoned theater. Whispers and laughs of the yesteryear hung heavy in the air. A lonely darkness with remnants of a forgotten energy danced throughout the atmosphere. Towards the front of the old performance room was a once grand stage, which now was adorned with black, tattered curtains and splitting and rotting wood. Up on that once grand stage, sitting alone in the cool darkness, I witnessed the slim silhouette of a tired middle-aged woman who once, some years ago, was a youthful, boisterous performer. But now here she sat, if frozen in time, still and lifeless, touched too much by a broken world. Her long, aging fingers lingered across the out-of-tune piano keys, searching for a dance they once knew, which sang to the song of timeless magic. And there she sat, lonely, out of touch, dreaming of a world that once been, searching for magic, hopelessly wishing for magic. For the dark lights to once again illuminate the old grand stage, and for people to file in with waiting anticipation, to hear the chatter, the laughter, to feel the high energy of excitement, that magic. But now, only silence hung heavy in this rundown skeleton remains of a building, a theater with forgotten magic. And as if in a dream, something else began to fill the air. Time stood still, as a clock somewhere in the far distance began to chime. The middle-aged woman slowly closed her eyes and lowered her head. A long lost tune of years gone by began to escape her moist, ch yet chapped lips. And far from behind the black tattered stage curtains, a bright, moist, golden red apple rolled towards the legs of the piano bench, of which the woman so listlessly sat. The apple rolled out of nothingness, as if it came from another realm. Magic. Lost in a trance, the woman bent down and retrieved the golden red apple. After staring for some time, she took a hopeful bite. And just like that of a fairy tale, the darkness lifted and transformed into a dream. Within a second, in a snap of the fingers, no longer was a middle-aged woman the long, lost, lonely woman that she was. She became a youthful lady, dazzling in a sparkling silver evening gown. Joyful laughter below, and it bellowed from her pink lips with her long, soft red hair, cascading down her slim shoulders, free-flowing. Gracefully, she stood up and twirled, 
her youthful fingers grazing the piano keys in an upbeat Broadway tune. Blinding lights warmed the now grand stage as it presented a soft glow around the lady, illuminating a once lonely stage. And then there was magic. Classical music spiraled from the lively piano keys, echoing off the walls. For a time, hope filled the atmosphere, a place where dreams come true. No longer a dark, tired atmosphere. Souls of those times gone by gathered in to witness the moment. Applause rang out. The magic of the music was alive. Magic. And just before the ending midnight hour chimed, a dove flew overhead. The illumination began to dim, and the lights went low. Then the darkness shadowed over the magical dreamland performance. The tattered black curtains closed, and the classical song faded out of tune. Lowering her head, the slim, red-headed, youthful lady began to gracefully age once again. She became tired and listless. She took a molded half-white face mask and slipped it over her face, closed her eyes as if in a trance, frozen in that moment in time. Frozen, she stayed, lonely in an abandoned theater in downtown New York, waiting for magic to dance again. Thanks for tuning in for that poetry reading of The Piano Magic. There will be more to come, but make sure you check out my other poetry videos where I take pieces of um, art, pieces of photos, uh, videos, and I put them together to create a new kind of poetry video. But I will be adding more of myself reading videos. So if you want, go ahead, subscribe to my channel, uh, come back and watch for more. And I also have a podcast spoken word poetry podcast search for that on anchor you can search for it on spotify apple podcast google and iheart radio see you again next time bye Is effortless.